Hello everyone, in this video I will be going over how to fork and create a pull request in GitHub. When you fork a repo in GitHub, you're basically making a copy of that repo that you can modify. Watch what happens when I go to the top right corner and I press this button that says fork. I have forked the kryne 001 slash rcell repository and it created my own repository named rshell which is an exact copy. Now once now that I have forked this I can now modify it. So let me let me see what I can modify. Oh look here it says that the user enters ls-a the program will print all the hidden files and nothing else. From previous videos we've learned that ls-a does not only print hidden files it prints all the files including hidden files. So let's change that. Let's fix that typo. The way we fix that typo is by editing the file. You can do this with source code, you can do this with text files, but right now I'll just do it with the text file. So I'll change this to say the program will print all the files in the current directory including the hidden files. Now to make these changes permanent, I have to commit them. So when you commit a change, you have to name the commit and add an optional extended description. But I won't add a description, I'll just name the change as fix a typo. And I'll commit the change. Now once I committed this change, the changes are now implemented in my version of the R shell. But in the original repo, Notice that the line still stays the same. That's because once you commit a change to your fourth repository, you have to create a pull request to the original repo. A pull request is basically telling the owner of the original repo that, oh, I've made some changes, and you want to ask them to update their own repo to reflect those changes. Notice that it says this branch is one commit ahead of K K R Y N E 001 colon master. That means that I've modified this, but the master, the the original repo, is still not updated. So therefore, I'll press this button to the right of where it says this branch is one commit ahead. It's called pull request. So I'll press that button, and it allows you to review the changes that you made to the original repo. So it says how many commits there were, what, were, what was changed, the comments, and the contributor. It displays the uh, information of the commit and what was actually changed. Now I reviewed this, everything seems right, so I'll click this green button that says create pull request. I'll click on that. I can leave a comment saying why I changed it, and I will. I'll say ls-a is wrong and I'll create the pull request. So once I created the pull request, it sends a message to the owner of the original repo saying, hey, this user has created a pull request asking you to merge their version of your repo with your original version of the repo. Okay, I've logged into the KRYNE001 profile, and I noticed in my pull request that UCR learning GitHub has sent me a pull request saying that they fixed a typo. So let me click on it. I'll review it, see the commits, see the files changed. Everything seems right. They did a good job. So I'll merge the pull request. And I'll confirm it. And now, if I go into the original repo, notice that the changes have been made. The reason that forking and pull requests are so important is that there are a lot of open source projects that are on GitHub. Open source means that by basically doing the process that I just showed you, they can modify the pro the they can modify the the project, and the owner of the project can see these modifications and say, "Oh, I like what you did," and accept the and accept what they've done and merge their original repo with the forked repo. This is how a lot of open source project works. It's, it's a bunch of people coming together, doing slight modifications on what's needed, and then after some time and a lot of work, a new project is finished and some new program is ready to be shown to the world. Alright, well, hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.